Amen. From the book of St. Luke, chapter 21, beginning at verse 8. And he said, I want you to notice the word of God. I want to leave a thought with you tonight, if God's willing. Share something with you. I'm, I'm so grateful to be with you in this convention. Amen. Invited by Apostle Abigail and others. And I am delighted to be with you. To stand here in your presence. They first said, and he said, that he that he be not the saints. I want you to notice that word. Can he that he be not deceived? I thought that it would be appropriate to speak on this wise because of the time in which we live. I know there are many things we can talk about. I don't think I need to speak about you being saved and getting saved. I think Apostle Waller did a good job. But I need to let you know that it's time for the saints of God to hold on to the faith and the doctrine that have been preached in our hearing. And Jesus is saying to us tonight to take ease, be, be aware. In other words, open your eyes. Look around yourself. That you be not deceived. For what? For many shall come in my name. For many shall come in my name. Saying, I am Christ. I am Christ. And the time draweth near. And the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them. Go ye not therefore after them. I thought it would be appropriate to let you know. With what has been established, the power of God and the anointing of God, that is time to take a firm stand on the word of God and not go after everything that we hear. Because the time is now. We are hearing and experiencing things that I dreamed of 20 years ago. Many of you are hearing things, amen, not only in the secular world, but in the church world. Even that we did not think would happen in the church. But it is happening, and the Bible wants us to be aware, except we will be, we will be deceived. No matter how smart you are, how long you've been in the church, the devil has some kind of device that will deceive the sense of God, and is happening today. Look at what it said here again. But when ye shall hear wars and commotions, and the sign that we are witnessing today, when we shall hear of, of wars, what? And commotion. And commotion. Be not terrified. Be not terrified. For these things must first come to pass. These things are happening. We're hearing about it. And it is happening. Used to be we hear about it away from home. California. We out west somewhere. But it's home now. And I think we need to be warned that Jesus is saying to the people of God, beware. Take heed. Because it is happening right now, we get all these things, and it sound it, it don't sound logical to many folks. But you that are of a certain age, it makes sense. Because you've been warned about it. The preacher preached about it. They've talked about it. But we just got to maintain ourselves in Christ Jesus in these last and evil days. Look what it said now. But the end is not by and by. The end is not by and by. Then said he unto them. Then said he unto them. Nation shall rise against nation. Nation shall rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom. Kingdom against kingdom. And great earthquake. I, I think we have a witness here. We know that this is happening. Amen. Praise the Lord. Things are happening. As I stated earlier that we dreamed about and were praying about, acting God deliver us from, but it's happening right now. Amen. The Bible said kingdom against kingdom, nation against nation. Look at what it said. And great earthquake. Great earthquake. Shall be a diverse place. Amen. Many of you know what I'm talking about. Amen. These things are happening. 
people are afraid. Amen. Because they don't have Christ in their lives. They don't know where to go, who to turn to. Everybody saying I'm looking for a new time, new year. Looking for the president to bring us out. But it's not the president. It is Christ Jesus. The Bible, we got to focus on him. We got to realize that we are living in the last days. The time is drawing so near to us. But the Bible is saying here, look at what it says here. And famous, famous, and pestilence, pestilence, and fearful sight, fearful sight, and great sign, great sign, shall there be from heaven, shall they be from heaven. I want to warn you today that this type of lifestyle and living is upon us right now. Pestilence getting out of control. We never heard of so much lightning killing folks. We never never heard of so much tragedy. Look like every time you get in your car. I remember years ago, I was teaching the saints of God when you get in your car, you should pray. I don't care if it's new or just one that can go around the corner. But you ought to ask God to give you traveling mercy. Ask God to give you peace in that car. Because tragedy is happening today like never before. People are turning from the faith of our Lord and Savior. We witnessed today so many changes in the church. And I want to warn you today, the Bible says, heaven, don't be deceived. It is happening in the churches today. Heaven, praise the Lord, I was at a meeting, amen, not long ago. And they were telling us that because of the population and because of the people that are changing their, their lifestyle, that they're promoting into the church. And we are being forced, as the politician says, the politician says, when these type of people come into your church, we cannot turn them away. And I, I, and I say to my wife, I thank God for Jesus. I think it's just about time for me to retire. Because I'm not going to have this type of carrying on in the church and still stand up and say I'm a man of God. You can be a man of God. We cannot fall for everything that's going on in this circular world. We got to stand up for Jesus and Him alone. And we cannot just fall down for anything. Every time somebody pass a law and say, I've got to accept the gays and the lesbians in the church in my pulpit that God anointed me to preach it, I said it's not so. I told the church the devil is a liar. I will refuse to do it in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Yes, my friends, for the power of God that has been instilled in me down through the years. They've been telling me that Jesus is Lord. Somebody made mention tonight, one Lord, one faith, and one baptism, and no gay folks. Today. They're trying to lay hands on the church. 